Okay, good day everyone. This is uh, sharing on Comfort Del Grow, uh, primarily because I'm a little bit interested in the company due to the share price uh, sliding recently. All right, please note that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Okay, uh, I may not make accurate uh, calculations in my presentation or say the right thing. So please don't make uh, any investment decision based on what I say. Please consult your financial advisor uh, for any investment decisions you make. Right, so well, let's quickly jump into it. Uh, these charts are based on the 2022 annual report, so it's accurate as of 31st December 2022. Right, so you can have a look at revenue. Right, so revenue has uh, from 2018 to 2022 has more or less stayed more or less flat. Right, obviously, there's a drop due to COVID, right, before slightly recovering, so it's more or less uh, near the 2018. Uh, revenue numbers okay but profit attributed to shareholders clearly you can see in the COVID period they struggle a lot all right before trying to move up over here all right clearly there's some improvement in profit attributable to shareholders however you can see that it's still a significant gap from 2018 even though revenue is closing in all right so earnings per share all right clearly will follow profits attributable to shareholders and NAV has stayed more or less constant Right, so you look at dividend, which I think most people buy the stock for dividend. All right, you follow the earnings per shares uh, uh, movement. So you can see the large dip here, earnings per share. So that's why dividends has dropped here. All right, and as earnings has improved, so has dividends. But if you look at 2022, a large part of it is uh, actually special dividends. Right, due to the group's 20th, 20th anniversary of listing, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so if I strip out special dividends, right, actual dividends normally it will be 4.61 cents and based off the closing price on 9 January uh, sorry 9 June 23 which is the most recent price I have right that's about 4.47 percent dividend <laughs> right so if we look at the annual report all right most of this has been covered so you can see that even though uh, the revenue is closing in on 2018s which is uh, means that the company is recovering you look at operating costs it has actually increased right and that's why your operating profit has dropped right relatively significantly from uh 420 uh, sorry, 438 million to 270 million all right and correspondingly your profits attributable to shareholders has dropped as well all right so if you look at <coughs> uh, dividends again the 8.46 year can be a bit deceptive because of special dividends as discussed earlier right if we look at group revenue by business segments you realize that most of their income actually comes from public transport all right so you can see that uh public transport has actually increased from 2022 to 20 uh, from 2018 to 2022 it has actually gone up all right the revenue from public transport all right however you look you can see the operating profit has actually dropped which is quite bad and you can see that public transport is actually a relatively low margin business star. okay so you can see that uh i don't know this is like uh th about five percent i think five percent operating profit okay based off the latest numbers which is really quite uh not not great okay <clears throat> so if you look at the taxi business which is second biggest business all right clearly it hasn't recovered fully right the revenue has dropped from uh seven uh two six million to uh four three two million uh four three seven million sorry so and see revenue has sort of dropped by maybe 40 percent that would be a off 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 the head calculation all right but if you look at operating profit it actually literally dropped by more than 40 percent all right so i think the operating cost of uh, running the taxi fleet is getting higher and probably because of subsidies to the taxi rental and so on and so forth okay so these are the problems with comfort they grow lately all right we look at geographical segment all right you look at singapore more or less uh, constant revenue so far all right yes more or less recovered uk has actually dropped right from 2018 2022 and australia is the slight silver lining it has gone up all right and if you look at uh, profit operating profit again by country right you can see that even though singapore has more or less closed the revenue gap again operating profit has dropped all right uk is actually doing quite badly uh, 50 percent operating profit uh, from 2018 and if you look at the revenue wise actually almost fully recovered so uk is not doing well probably due to brexit and other uh, considerations right so australia is the slight uh, hope in these uh, numbers right you can see that from 64 million the operating profit has 
uh, sort of more or less recovered to 51 million. Okay, so we move on to look at the financial results presentation dated 24 February 2023. Right, so for income statement, we can see that uh, if I compare the second half 2022 to second half 2021, revenue has increased by 9%, but operating cost has increased more by 10.5%. Right, and if you look at year on year 2022 versus 2021, okay, again, we see the same uh, kind of uh, uh, pattern that while revenue has increased by 7.9%, the actually operating cost has increased more by 9.9%. Right, so these are the concerns that we have with ComfortDelGro. So they, they talk about uh, why revenue has increased, okay, because COVID, uh, post-COVID opening, okay, uh, higher fuel sales and indexation, right, and taxi fare commissions that uh, it was introduced in May 2022, right? And operating costs, the reasons is mainly due to inflation, which I think the company is not really able to control wages and electricity and fuel and uh, the UK uh, side bus driver pay deal back pay right which I think they have to pay out more money to the bus drivers okay the new real electricity contract okay which I think cost money right driver shortages which I think means that they have to pay the drivers more okay uh, yeah so these are the main reasons why operating costs keeps uh, going up right so looking at the year-on-year -year reasons i think the same ideas sort of uh, are repeated right uh there's not much to say here all right balance sheet wise i think it's quite strong all right we don't have to worry too much about them they have uh, a lot of cash all right uh, 653 million all right so I don't think balance sheet is a issue for ComfortDelGro. Right, if you look at the quarter to quarter in 2002 uh, revenue comparison, you can see that it goes up here, right? The revenue goes up quarter to quarter in 2022, but the operating cost is really, really bad, right? You can see this increase is causing the uh, operating profit to drop by 50% more than 50% right from Q1 to Q4 and it's like a trend that is really bad <laughs> yeah so uh, when you look at things like that I guess there's a reason why the stock price has gone down so much and I think if you look at uh, things like the uh, outlook statement later on uh, you, you will see that I think things may get a little bit worse for some parts at least right so yeah so this is the income statement quarter to quarter uh, presentation right they, they said revenue increase which we already see but operating cost is the main concern wages and energy are not really uh, within the company's control uh, manpower shortages and supply chain uh, challenges exist right yeah so the rest have been discussed somewhere before right so uh, yeah post covid recovery uh, should mean that the revenues keep going up the, the worry is the operating costs can they control it and i think that with uh comfort group being in the public transport services there's reason to believe that uh, governments will always have a say especially when they operate in overseas countries like uk and australia uh, i don't think the governments will allow them to make a lot of money so uh, in terms of margins i do believe they will always be under pressure in uh, overseas uh, public transport contracts in Singapore I don't think the situation is much better friendly because uh, public transport costs is always a, a big point of concern among the locals and yeah I do believe government will again control the margins right if you look at taxi margin uh, for comfort that in the past uh, the margins are pretty good and it's been dropping and I'm not sure that it will actually revert back to its original uh, uh, margins that they used to have but we can hope for it right so uh, these are the things looking forward okay public transport uh, there's an uh, amendment to the f service fee payable by LTA on the bus contracts and I believe that uh, the fees that they're going to earn are lower than the previous service fees right so they're going to earn less right UK is because there's a pay increase for the drivers clearly not a good thing for the company they are paying out more things for Australia they are saying that the 
competition for submissions are uh, competitive which probably means that again they are paid less right okay uh, the only bright spot is uh, the services in Singapore Australia and UK are recovering right due to relaxation of COVID-19 uh, restrictions Singapore taxi revenues are expected to improve right driving driver earnings expected to remain healthy hopefully that will solve their manpower issues right so uh, yeah I think inflation is the major issue uh, I'm not sure if the company can pass on the cost to the consumers right with that they'll end the sharing thank you very much for listening